Hey guys, Becca here to show you how to use the Flipgrid app for an iOS device. Now this is just for iPhones and iPads, but if you want to use it for an Android, there is an app for that and you can figure that out on your own because I know nothing about them. Okay, first things first, I am in the App Store and I typed in Flipgrid. And the very first one that popped up for me was the actual Flipgrid app that we want to use. And it's that green circle with the plus through it. So go ahead and click get. I've already downloaded mine, so I can just click open. And then we open up Flipgrid. So your instructor will send you the flip code and that will, and for my class, that is on D2L. And I believe it's also in your assignment as well. I'm going to show you a demo grid just so you can see what it looks like without any other flip grids in there. All right, so here is my demo grid. You can see there's one topic, zero video, zero views, zero engagement. So that will change as more of you post to this one. I was able to choose the GIF and I chose this one because I selected some random topic. So the topic on here is whatever your instructor gives you. Mine is detailed out a little bit more in the assignment handout, so make sure you look at that one. This one it says, let's connect. Introduce yourself in 90 seconds or less. For fun, tell us your favorite appetizer. Now when you are creating your Flipgrid, you have a couple of different options. You can either create a video on your phone and then upload it, or you can just go ahead and click the plus sign and follow all the various prompts to record your video straight to Flipgrid. Can you delete it once it's once you've recorded it and re-record? Yes, you can. All right, so I'm gonna click the plus sign and then I'm going to click the plus sign again. Then you'll need to log in. Now I have to remember which login I used. Hopefully it remembers me. Okay, sweet. So here I am again, hi. So it says recording as Rebecca T. If you don't wanna have that name, you can click the little pencil and change your name. So I'm gonna write Becca and then update. And then whatever that name is, that's how it will post to Flipgrid. So I feel good with Becca. Um, if there's more than one Jennifer in this class, for instance, please make sure that you add your last initial to that. I know who you are when I look at you, but just for grins, let's do it that way. Okay, looking at the buttons at the bottom underneath your name, there is an options tab or options circle, I should say. So let's click on that and see what we get. We can record square, we can import a video. So if you wanted to record a video on another device and import it, that's how you would do it, okay? You can record without audio. Can't do that for my class. And then you can edit your display name, but we already saw another way to do that. I like to record to square and I'll show you the difference. So here's recording regular and then I click options and click record square, then there's less of me, which I'm happy with. Then it gives you a little tip, pro tip, double tap to flip the camera while recording. So if you want to record something in the space around you, you can do that, but I'm just gonna record my beautiful self. There's also an option at the bottom for flip. So if I wanted to record the space, I'm in my, conference room here, so it's not that beautiful, so I shall not be recording this space. So I just clicked, clicked flip again. So other things that you'll see on the screen up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see one minute 30 seconds. So each person who creates a flip grid gets to decide how long you have for the flip grid. I want something quick and dirty, and so I say 90 seconds. So that's why it says 130. And then it will count down as you are recording your Flipgrid, which was really helpful. Underneath the 130, I can't remember what the icon is, so let's click it and see. Oh, that just gives the instructions again. So if you forgot what you need to do, which I did already, um, my favorite appetizer, okay. Then you can look at that, and I'm gonna hit X and then get out of it. All right, 
So now I am ready to record. So I'm going to click that big red circle. So right away, you can see a couple of different things in the upper right hand corner. It is now counting down. And then down at the bottom, uh, there is a pause sign. So if I want to collect my thoughts, because I only have 90 seconds, I can click pause and then it's paused. And then I can think about my favorite appetizer. Okay, so I've got my favorite appetizer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click record again. And I still have one minute, 10 seconds left. Clicking and now I'm recording again and I'm going to be on my best behavior. Uh, my favorite appetizer is calamari. I love calamari. I can't eat it right now because I'm trying to eat all healthy and stuff but loves me some calamari. Um, what else do I wanna say? So you will, for my class, you will introduce yourself. You'll have to talk about your project a little bit and blah, 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 blah. I'm doing my thing. And then I'm going to hit pause when I'm done. I've got 38 seconds left, but if you say everything that you need to say in 90 seconds, then go ahead and click pause. Now, if I mess up my video, I don't like how something looked. You can go ahead and click the redo button or the trash button there. Are you sure you would like to redo your video? All progress will be lost. You can say okay, or you can hit cancel if you decide to keep it. I'm gonna keep this bad boy. So because I'm done, I'm going to click next. And so right next, away, you can see a couple the of different videos. Things. And, the, and I, I just clicked on my face to pause it because I don't want to hear it. And you can see that there are some little scissors there. And so you can cut it. Maybe I want to cut out that beginning portion where I was just talking nonsense or the end portion where I was also talking nonsense. So you do have a little bit so of right away to, excuse me, to edit your software, uh, edit your video. You can add a title. So I'm going to click down here at the bottom. I'm going to click title. Um, you don't have to add a title or you can write, I love calamari. And then update. And you won't see that here right now. If you wanna attach something, so you want to add a link, you can do that. I'm gonna hit cancel. But this looks great to me. I love it. It's the best Hi. video I've ever so done. I'm going to, there we go. Then I'm gonna click next. So then you get to snap a selfie. You have to snap a selfie because this is the cover of your Flipgrid. I see this a lot from students. Peace, because we all feel so stupid make, taking selfies that everybody's gonna look at um, on a school thing. Think about as Instagram, do the duck face, something like that. But anyway, snap your selfie. And then if you love it, go ahead and click submit. You can see on the upper right hand corner, there's a pencil. So you can draw something. I'm drawing a heart because that's the first thing I thought of. It looks like it's dripping heart, so it's all very artistic. Um, you can also add little stickers to it. So you see that, uh, I'm gonna use my draw tool right here. You can draw, add a sticker. So I'm gonna click the stickers. So you can add an emoji or something wonderful to it. So I'm saying I'm outstanding. If you don't like something, you can click clear. All right, click submit. And then we wait. Still not closing the app. I'm very obedient. <clears throat> Awesome, it went through and now it's visible to the topic. So I'm gonna to return my topic and there is my video. And I want to go and comment on somebody's Flipgrid. Click the post you want to view or comment on and then view it. And if you like it, you can like it like you do on Facebook, but with Flipgrid's mic drop. That's that little button there. When you're ready to actually create a comment, then you'll click the communication symbol there. So then commenting means that you're doing another video. So I'm going to say, 
back off. I love calamari too. It's the best thing. Or calamari is so disgusting. Then I've made my comment. So then same thing as you're recording your original post. Just going to hit pause. Okay. Next. Back off. Next because I am done. Snap my selfie. I don't know why. That's really good looking. And then submit. The video is very important to them again. So then you'll see, you'll see your original video and then down underneath next to the conversation, you'll see this angry monger who commented on your video. They didn't like it. And you can see that again when you close out. So that is Flipgrid. I'll go back to my topic and you'll see that there is one recorded post already. And so soon all of those little circles will be filled with wonderful videos. So that's it for Flipgrid. I hope that was helpful. And now you can go and do your assignment.